A robot that works like a video game controller, a video game controller, and a lab where a replica of your mouth can be printed. Mm. It's some of the technology Mayo Clinic is using right now to save lives. And this is uh, Head and Neck Cancer Awareness Month. So our Renata De Gregorio put on some surgical gear and went inside the operating room to bring you this story. We're talking robots versus cancer. On your side to show you what advanced technology is in your own backyard and what type of cancer a Mayo Clinic doctor says is exploding. What if there was a tool to remove cancer from inside the mouth? I move my hands to move the instruments around. That was less invasive with a faster recovery. It's safe to say the robot saves lives. Dr. Jeffrey Janis, head and neck cancer surgeon at Mayo Clinic, says this robot with surgical instruments controlled much like a video game controller from across the room is one of the only ones in Florida. It's very important nowadays because there's been an explosion of these kinds of tumors. Most cancerous tumors in the back of the throat are attributed to the human papillomavirus, or HPV, the most common sexually transmitted disease, reports the CDC. They brought me into the operation room to show me how this robot works to remove a cancerous tumor from inside a patient's mouth. We used to have to do these big surgeries, but now we've made the surgeries less invasive and um, recovery times are shorter and outcomes are better. With technology and steady hands working together, Janice says up to 95% of the head and neck cancer patients survive. We're leveraging this technology to do great things for our patient and uh, it's something that's really special to be a part of. The 3D printer used to make this cat is also used to make parts for surgeons. Learn more about it on firstcoastnews.com. Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News, on your side.